hello everyone welcome to my channel dear electronics engineer today we will know about basic difference between CRO and DSO so let's start the video first of all we should know about the full form of CRO and DSO so CRO stands for cathode ray oscilloscope and DSO stands for digital storage oscilloscope uh, and short definitions of CRO a device that display the characteristics of a signal like amplitude frequency phase relative to time is called a cathode ray oscilloscope in short it is also called a CRO in DSO the digital storage oscilloscope was designed to overcome various shortcomings of the cathode ray oscilloscope in a digital storage oscilloscope the signal is displayed in the digital form and stored in the memory uh, so first difference between CRO and DSO first point it cannot store signals in CRO in CRO case we can't store the signal but in DSO case it can store the signals in point two it does not use AC to DC converters and in DSO case it uses AC to DC converters and point three the display screen is small and not so brighter and the display screen is bigger and brighter Point four BH curve cannot be obtained in CRO, but in DSO case BH curve can be obtained. Point five it is big in size and heavy weight. CRO is big in size and weight also is very high. In DSO it is a small in size and lightweight. Uh, point six it does not have a pre-trigger view means we can't store the uh, output signal in CRO but in DSO case we can store the output signal so it has a pre-trigger view and point 7 channel difference and channel aid function are not possible through this uh, means uh, in CRO we, we can't see the uh, channel difference and channel aid function signal but in DSO case channel difference and channel add function are possible through this possible through this and also we can see the channel difference signal and channel add function I hope this video is helpful for everyone thanks everyone keep watching